So this is something I don't actually remember if I've made a video on. I looked around at my channel for a bit and I honestly couldn't find a video that I did on this, but I've thought about it for a long time and it's another one of those GAMING VLOGS that I have as well. And if you have it, then, well, maybe this video can help you out and maybe this video will finally get me to stop doing this. So if you're like me and you're an average FPS player, then oftentimes you find yourself having matches where things aren't going your way. Don't worry, it's normal. The first part of a match, you get your ass kicked, the enemy team starts to stomp you, all of your strategies seem to not work, your class seems to be falling short, they're killing you faster than you are killing them, and you just want to stop playing. Now the first thing you need to ask yourself are some basic human questions. Am I well fed? Am I well hydrated? Have I gotten my work done? Is some other sort of stress keeping me back from my true potential in this match? And if you answer, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm fine, you know, then maybe your gameplay style is one that your enemy is comfortable defeating. Some people are really good at fighting rushers, some people are really good at fighting campers. Some people are going to be faster than you, some people are going to be a step ahead of you. And if your playstyle is one that they're comfortable fighting, then you're going to be an easy target for these people. In my experience, there's usually two, maybe three people on a good enemy team in small team games like Call of Duty that can knock me down, and usually about 10 in Battlefield that can knock me down. I'm kind of pulling those numbers out of my ass, but that's just my general experience. There's usually like a handful of people that I'll, I'll have no trouble killing, but then a smaller handful of people, a minority of which, that can just crush me. They can just stomp on me, because I think I'm a little bit better than the average player, but I'm not proficient in most games. So, tell me if this sounds familiar. These proficient players give me this feeling that I haven't been helpful for the entire match. I can't win my gunfights against them, I can't push them out of their objectives, I can't push them out of their camping spots, and overall I just kind of feel like I'm failing my team. Now when I observe people playing, whether in their gameplay commentaries, in their live gameplay, while they're live streaming, while I'm spectating, or while I'm just watching over somebody's shoulder, or watching back my own footage, I notice that there was a point during the match where anybody, I'll just say anybody, anybody should have switched their play style up by that point. Switched to a different class, a different operator, a different hero, a different specialist, a different rig, gone from aggressive to a little bit more conservative, but nobody wants to do that. Maybe it feels like a defeat. You know, maybe when you have to trade in your entire playstyle, you switch classes, you switch heroes, you do a whole different maneuver, maybe that makes people feel like failures. But if you're getting in gunfights that are outside of your weapon's range, if enemies are too fast for you, if enemies are getting behind your team, if you are not confident enough to take somebody off of an objective with whatever loadout you're using, you need to switch it up. Now before we get into that more, I do want to say that it does help when it comes to your opponents because your opponents start to recognize you. Even in games that don't allow you to customize your character or put cosmetics on, they will begin to recognize you. Oh, it's that guy. He comes through that door. He uses the MP40. Oh, it's that guy. He usually plays as this specialist and his specialist looks like this and he's using this assault rifle. And if they're kicking your ass, they'll have no fear when trying to fight you again. They'll see your character, they'll see what weapon you have, they'll read the name above your head, and they'll go, oh, it's this guy. He's useless. You're giving the enemy a positive feedback loop that they shouldn't be having, and so if you can change your aesthetic, your class, your primary, and your playstyle, you're not going to let them know what you're doing anymore. They won't recognize you, they won't recognize that playstyle, they won't recognize that position. A great example and a great standby is that some players that are really good are just really good at being aggressive people. They get on objectives and they rip and they tear, their sensitivities are high, they're jumping around everywhere, and sometimes it just takes someone that's willing to be slow and use a piece of cover and hold an angle for a second to drop that person off their streak and then push forward. Basically, don't give your enemy that's kicking your ass the same target throughout the entire match. There's no reason to do that. You are already failing in this scenario and really, I mean, the most you're showing by not changing your kit, your loadout, your playstyle, your hero, the most you're showing is that you have an inability to adjust to the scenario. You're not flexible, and you're not willing to bend for the competition, you're just letting the competition bend you over. So when it comes to switching, here's what you do. Once you've gotten to this point where you just want to leave the match because 
you feel cheated out of every life, you feel cheated out of your objectives, out of your plays, out of your kills, here's what you do. Take your headset off, hands off the keyboard, put down the controller, take a deep breath for about five seconds. Inhale for five seconds, exhale for five seconds. Inhale for five seconds, exhale for five seconds. The previous part of the match does not exist. Now, you are a different player with a different play style and a different method. Maybe now you're a grenade spammer. Maybe now you're a dirty camper. Maybe now you're a proficient sniper, but you are someone your enemies have not met now. So you put that headset back on, you put your hands back on your keyboard, you pick your controller back up, you straighten your dick, you adjust your nipples, and you play to the best of your ability with a new play style, a genuinely new play style. Do not equip a new class and then play the same way. And you give it a real honest go until you start to feel like a failure again, until you start to feel like you're being cheated again. And once you have that flare up of, oh, I just want to leave this match, fuck this, head set off, eyes closed, deep breath in, deep breath out, new play style time. Just try new play styles. If you can only think, well, there's aggressive and there's conservative play styles. If that's all you can think of, fine, alternate between them. If you're more advanced and you know how to spec into different styles of play, or maybe you're smart enough to realize what your team needs in terms of heroes, operators, specialists, classes, play styles, positioning, if you are smart enough to do that, good, take advantage of that, that's a whole other video. You can become a different player mid-match. Don't give your enemies the same target. Don't be the same person they've been kicking around all match. You can switch. And this can come in lots of different ways, here's how I'll end the video. It can come from you just slowing down your playstyle and using more cover and being a little bit more methodical. It can come from speeding up and just being a bit more aggressive and being a little bit more forceful. It can come from just picking a class that has a frag grenade instead of a Simtex or a flashbang or vice versa. Or it can be as drastic as changing your entire hero, operator, strategy, playstyle, just everything. It could be a complete redo, but you can do it mid-match in most games. And if what you're doing is meta approved and you see all the pro players doing it, just know that they are them, you are you, and if you want to have fun in that match, you can take that fun back by becoming a different player, a different target, a different adversary, a different threat. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I just woke up and made this because it was fresh on my mind, and I thought, well, I deal with this on a daily basis, but I've never talked about it, so here you go. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't be stubborn, have some fun, and I'll see you later. Sorry, that doesn't sound as good. See you when I see you. Goodbye! I'm garage. I'm protected. Get, get the plant. Get, me. get the plant. Get the plant. Damn it. Yeah, two of them in their bandit, and... Do it behind the, uh... No, the dumbbells. The dumbbells. Behind the dumbbells. Watch you, Captain. There's a hole. There you go. God! Oh, the bandit's on it. Bandit should be on it right now. Come on, just kidding. Yeah, stay right there, stay right there. Yeah, there's a hole. Woo! Nice. Nice joystick.